Pokemon, demons, both have Eamon in the name. Coincidence? I think not. I recently released the best project that I'll release all year, or that I've released so far this year. Very proud of it, love it. If you haven't watched it, that's fine. Only one of us is gonna have a regret on our deathbed. Anyways, it was a 50 minute video. It could have been an hour plus, but some things just didn't fit in perfectly. And at one point in the video, my rebuttals are gonna start to sound very much the same because uh, the same arguments are being presented. So anyways, let's walk through some of the things that didn't make the video. So through this, I listened to the original Japanese intro, which is fire by the way, at least the one by Rika Matsumoto. And this is what I mean where the people who came at Pokemon were fucking lazy. There are things to talk about with Pokemon and be like, that's kind of weird. But no one did that. Hardly no one did that. Now, I don't have the perfect translation of aim to be a Pokemon master, the Japanese OG intro, but the opening lines, I guess, loosely translate to through the fire, ran the water, ran the grass, and in the forest, my best effort I'll exert. Also deep inside the ground and way up high above the clouds and even under that girl's skirt. Eek! A girl does yell <laughs> in the intro. I'm not just, that wasn't me just improving and showing off my skills. <laughs> It's a little weird, right? I mean, I'm not gonna stop playing the game or anything, but had one of the preachers brought up that point? Like, what do I say to that? Oh, I'm sure they're just, you know, just describing how plentiful Pokemon are. You know, it's a, it's a hyperbole. You know, I'm, I'm sure this underage girl's skirt is a metaphor for what's in here. It's all about heart with Pokemon. Like, they would win that point. I can't combat that, but no, this, Goofy from the Prophecy Club wants to talk about Misty's skimpy outfit when she's heavily associated with water Pokemon. Her sisters run a water show. So where you hear that line in the Japanese intro, they actually kept that same animation in the US intro. They just cut that line out. They also removed the eek. Oh, but yeah, I mean, Japan didn't give a shit, so. Do you wanna know something that I would never cut out of a video? Today's sponsor. It's a gentleman's suite. I bought a suit for the broom. On a dog fantasy, that's a sponsor. Give me room like a jab step, kick out. You gotta check the picks out, make 20 times your money one night. Don't miss out, you choose higher or lower on that a bio or joker. I got bam on the boards and buckets higher for quarter. You can pick two to five, but you really can't miss. Miami's in a do or die endeavors trying to get the chip. Here's the states where you could pick, here's the stats that you could choose. Make a statement with that fifth. If I'm streaky like Strew, should I pick playoff Jimmy? In a hard fought dub, I didn't even pick Kevin. But you know it's all love Underdog, my favorite dog Next to Storm and Nari Going heavy on the lower No Kyle Laurie If you're interested You can check out Underdog Fantasy You can use code Mr. GG And get your first deposit Doubled up to $100 By Underdog Link below And thank you Underdog Fantasy For sponsoring this video Anything is possible The video set up talking about how my mom was telling me Univision was calling Pokemon demonic. And some people wanted me to talk about my Pokemon puzzle story again. It was an unexplainable moment in my childhood that I had brought up in a childhood trauma video. Although it was highly relevant, it just didn't fit well in the story. Long story short, there was a Pokemon puzzle that me and my brother bought and then one day we saw it fly against the wall and break into pieces and uh, to this day no one can really explain what happened there. There wasn't anybody else in that room. I don't know what happened. Maybe these cycles have a point. I don't know. <laughs> Behind me in that first shot are all the articles, including one of the Prophecy Club guy. He's the guy at the end of the video. I found him on Twitter. I'm pretty sure it's him. He hasn't tweeted for a while, but one of his tweets were that I ripped up, by the way. It's the Pride Month meme where it keeps showing Pride Month and it says, oh, but demons in the middle of it. Fucking... What a doofus. <laughs> Which I'm seeing prop pop up again because of Pride Month coming up. So I used pretty much every prop that I bought in this video, usually like somewhere in the background, except the redemption card game that I bought. What's the redemption card game, you ask? I am ecstatic that you asked. I'll gladly tell you. So Magic the Gathering is like the OG of those types of card games, right? So Rob Anderson saw the witchcraft and demons and sorcerers and drama and Moloch type beats in Magic and decided the Bible would actually be a sick base for a card game like this. But this one will be about fun and fellowship and the Christians will love it. So the redemption collectible card game was born. It was made in 1995 and you know what? He was kind of on to something. Bro was kind of cooking. <laughs> so, believe it or not, these cards are still being updated to this day. 
There are redemption tournaments being held today. And when I saw that, I thought, oh, so there must be, yup, redemption pack openings on YouTube. Uh, all right, guys, I uh, just got a brand new pack. We're gonna check out what's our first one here. What's our first pull? Oh, that looks like Abner. I got a few of those, not that impressive. Okay, let's take another look here. Looks like we got, um, the fuck does that say? Looks like we got a Keen Jill Hoi Kim. Yeah, that's pretty good, but uh, pretty beatable in, you know, today's current deck builds. Um, <laughs> we also got Egyptian Ar Archer. Yeah, he goes kind of stupid, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know why I'm doing like a critical voice for this. Okay, our next pull. What the fuck? Why does it look like that? Th look how ugly this card looks. Oh my god, this this design is ugly. I'm sorry. Artist who worked hard on this. Have to <laughs> They're all just this guy. Are these the same dudes? Were they supposed to be the same dudes? Look at that. Also, the writing on the photo is a bit of an eyesore. I'm not a big fan of that. This, <laughs> this looks like a shitty rendition of Lara Croft Tomb Raider. Look at this. Why Why did they get so ugly? We're this seems, the ones I was pulling in the beginning looks like maybe they were an earlier design, and I think those look cool, but I'm assuming these are newer, and I don't like these at all. Oh my god! Bro! You're not gonna believe the pull I just got! We got a Keen Shamanizer the fifth! I only had fourth! Oh my fuck, boys! I don't know, do people react like that to redemption card open? Maybe. Wow. I don't know what people are looking for, but I bought redemption cards and I bought a lot of them, by the way. A lot. This, this, this Dakaruski here, this is like a tenth of the amount of redemption cards that I purchased to not be used. So, you know, it happens. Going on YouTube, there's also deck building videos and stuff like that. There's not a lot, but they exist. It's just crazy to think that nearly three decades later, they exist in any form. I had also purchased my first Holy Communion memory game. These were supposed to be used for some gag where I pretended they were battle cards. And I was like, oh, I choose you. I don't know. I thought it was, I thought it was going to be kind of funny. I summon Jesus in defense mode. You've, uh, you've activated my trap card. Bread. I think I just never found a way to round out to it. But I think even right now, messing around, like I think it'd still be funny for that type of gag. But it just never ended up getting written in. There was I never lobbed that up to myself. So oh uh, yeah, I guess I'll save that gag for another video that loosely relates to this. Tuck these away, make sure to not bend them. They're pretty important. I had skipped over Phil Arms Pokemon Power, probably the most infamous Pokemon preacher rant out there, but this is the most generic one. Any rebuttal boils down to, oh, that guy's wrong, and sounds silly. This is also the one people have probably reacted to the most, so there just wasn't anything there for me. I didn't start writing and then cut it out of the script. I just never even bothered with him. The Pokemon Go segment in the video brought me to this rabbit hole of Pokemon Go related incidents. Many incidents that I'm sure some people use to demonize Pokemon Go and Pokemon in general. And I could have started to introduce that side a bit, but I decided against it because I read through a lot of incidents and I thought, well, this could kind of be its own video. It doesn't really need to be a part of this. I felt like it was me going a little too far off the path. I think it's still interesting to talk about, but I was like, nah, this could be its own video, if anything, if I decide to come back and revisit Pokemon. But then my second thought was, I mean, people like actually died playing Pokemon Go, so it's a bit of a damper on a super hilarious video. You know, it wouldn't be the first time there's been a touchy subject and I've made jokes, but I don't know why in that specific scenario, I was just like, ooh, I don't know. Most of the incidents I read up on were injuries and robberies. Wasn't too many Pokemon Go related autopsies being performed, but I don't know. I'm still a little bit on the fence of that one, but that was gonna be a part of it, but I decided to bail. Jose Yurion, Jesus. Two names that have nothing to do with each other. <laughs> this guy is the king of psycho rants. He does not only target Pokemon, he targets popular games, popular movies, Disney, just anything your child might enjoy that might catch a parent's ear to go to one of his cult seminars. He's talked about it. And not only that, but the same way I tried to thoroughly comb through some of the beefier sections in the video, at one point you realize you just have to choose your battles. Ironically so, because in the section I covered, he said a lot of wild shit. 
so much so that I was just forced to show you the highlights. He is a liar, he is a fraud, and genuinely, like, just a fucking maniac. I tried doing what he did in the video, grabbing random Yu-Gi-Oh cards and trying to demonize them in any way I could. You saw it in the video and then I crapped out and I was like, this is tough. I ended up doing a second round after that, which I didn't show in the video because once again, just didn't really fit well into it. So uh, please enjoy that second round. That's fucking tough. Granted, I think I was doing a better job than he was. I feel like he could say anything and get away with it because he could just be like the letter R really bad and he got like no one would really say much about that okay let me try doing it in a shittier way like he was i think i was trying a little too hard okay let me do the next one here uh robots you know them to be dangerous monsters is that who you want no that's bad here you have a dark demon hiding in the darkness and here you have a tarantula getting ready to attack innocent children. And now you've got this monster, mouth agape, mouth agape, ready to eat dreams, realities. And now you have this uh, man coming from the Aztec country with a bug, bugs, ants, centipedes, all the devil's children. And here we have another magician, dark arts, already been here, a, t a tornado, natural disaster being forced upon us. Our final days are coming. This thing attacking innocent children, innocent lives, innocent cities. And now we have another monster with fangs, um, uh, uh, spikes coming out, murderous. Now you have another magician, the dark arts, we've seen this before. Some sort of uh, barrel, uh, a, 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 a bomb, a bomb being, being ready to set off in your children's homes, your homes. And now we got another thing attacking the earth. You have things, the fangs, you see them all the time. The fangs, the spikes, the fangs, the spikes, anything sharp, bad. And now we have something glowing, getting ready to attack this other monster over here. It is insane. And now the thing, multiple eyes, we've seen this before, multiple eyes. Bad, we know this. Hell, hell erupting. Hell erupting to merge with our world. Are you gonna let it happen? Think about that next time your kid's playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon, sorry. Um, uh, two monsters coming together, the letter E. You know what that stands for? Enigma. F, we've seen this before, a ghostly F. Fuck. <laughs> All right, that's it. I got Yu-Gi-Oh cards all over the floor. That guy's good. <laughs> Also, for this last guy, the Prophecy Club fella, I skipped a lot of this because he essentially reiterates a lot of what we already heard at this point in the video, but I do wish I gave him a little bit of backstory. I think I wrote the segue for him and then just kind of skipped over it. He's apparently an ex-Satanist turned Christian, and that's why he's now... <clears throat> the expert on this material. I kind of wish I said that because you're like, why is this guy talking about uh, the three Mewtwo fingers and it means whatever the hell he said. In a teaser I posted online of this video, there's a clip from senior apologist Jimmy Akin from this YouTube channel, Catholic Answers, which was actually a clip I was considering to make the ending. A caller calls in asking if Pokemon being demonic has any validity to it, and I really liked his answer. It's super level-headed, he answers it better than I ever could, especially on the spot. He starts by identifying, well, what is demonic? Okay, we've defined that. Doesn't sound like Pokemon. Gives example of people engaging in heinous acts with Pokemon being involved somehow in the story, and makes it clear that Pokemon was not the first domino to fall in these tragic stories. Like there was a couple who abandoned their toddler to play Pokemon Go, but he made it clear, and I'm paraphrasing here, <laughs> I think those people just fucking sucked to begin with. They were horrible people. They were ready to do that at the drop of a dime for anything they moderately enjoyed. There was something horrible that was bound to happen, unfortunately. But the more I toyed around with it, there wasn't really a clean way to wrap it up with him. It was more so leaning towards, I just kind of want to put him in there and have him speak. Although it could be a possibility for an ending, I did want to wrap it up with me tying back in the intro, you know, putting in the little Digimon gag at the end too. I think that just worked better, much more personal, instead of just having some random guy explain why Pokemon isn't demonic, even though we already all know that. I think I just enjoyed his response, but there wasn't really an appropriate way to tie him in. And yeah, there wasn't really that much more. Like, there's obviously a bunch of shit that I read up on, even stuff that wouldn't make sense to tie into this video. I read a bunch of articles 
All the articles in the video, I printed them out. I read multiple, all the Pokemon related articles I could find to tie in. There was a lot more content out there. Like there's other weird Pokemon rants. There's other random Pokemon articles. There was the whole thing about how, I guess there was this fake article circulating that the creator of Pokemon said it was meant to be for the devil or like related to Satan or that's what inspired him. I guess that was something that was floating around a bit, but it was obviously struck down as false immediately. Another thing that just like, where do I put that? You know, even though super relevant, it's like, okay, I'm just gonna fucking give you that as a drive-by and then keep it moving. It just didn't really fit. And it didn't seem like it was that big a thing that people were taking from to try and support their argument. So it's like, why even shoot this down? But yeah, that is pretty much everything I could not include in the uh, demonic controversy surrounding Pokemon. I do hope you guys enjoyed that video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well. If you haven't, go watch it. If you... Want to go watch it again? Appreciate it. And as always, I am Mr. Gigi, and I am out. Bye.